Namaste. We are all spiritual beings. Spirituality could be interpreted in so many ways and levels, depending on um, the nature of the person as well as the present state and circumstances of the person and the external influences as well. But of course, on top of that, the learnings and the study we do in life and the experience, of course, definitely, which is the most important of all the aspects. But um, well, personally, I think we really develop in stages. And when I say spiritual development, I mean the energy itself. It has a, an energetic significance, which is more real life, realistic, fully present. So when I say spiritual entity, I mean not, of course, towards the end, uh, all of this, um, for example, religious dogmas, or philosophy, um, they ha they would have more meaningful and real life um, essence when you understand all of this from the energetic principle or point of view. And the energetic principle or point of view would have to start with something which is tangible, such as the physical body, definitely. Um, the physical body being the, I would say, the most felt, yeah, is actually a good starting point. So, the the physical body is already a spiritual element, really, um, because inside, really, the, the the spirit is inside the body. Literally, it's inside, and it's manifested as you breathe through it. Of course, in different levels of transformation, but the physical body, yeah is where the energy or the spirit dwells inside right. and really this is interesting because um through feeling the manifestations of the energy in the body you can actually feel how it transforms right away as we breathe through it of course um different people will differ, will feel these manifestations differently as I mentioned depending on the level and the circumstances uh, surrounding that practitioner. All right. So the body now when it's not as open you now for example um, I will relate this to yoga for example if you are just beginning to practice definitely you won't be feeling yeah the uh, manifestation of the energy, I mean the sensation of the energy as you breathe through it, definitely, because the, blo the body is blocking the way. You know, because really inside, the body is nothing, it's empty, it's blank, it's vacuum, it's so deep, I think it's, it's really hollow, there's really nothing there. Once you're able to dissolve the, the blockages of the discipline. But of course, if you just make a practice, it will not manifest. So, the um, the healthy path to understand the spirituality of all these things surrounding us is actually working the body itself. Yeah. And um, when I say working the body itself, really you know, gaining physical strength, uh, resilience, um, mobility, and this is when the assonance are very important, all right? You, you might not be following the same method of breaking the physical, but um, when you move the body, when you make the body strong, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it paves way for the initial uh, stage of cracking through or breaking through or breaking free from the heaviness of the physical body. All right. Now, um, the body, yeah, the development of the body actually, really, yeah, and this is very true, would have to start here. Really, yeah, the hips, yeah, because the hips um, is the seat of, of, of physical strength, it's the seat of muscular strength, it's the seat of the primal energy, this is where we depend on life from. Alright, so without the hips, without the hips supporting the spine, we are like thin, 
Yeah, because this is really the foundation of all things that will come along the way in the future. So the helps would be developed in a way that you gain uh, not just strength but also mobility. Remember, right, mobility of the hips. Um, this is when all the power building uh, components of the practice would be very important. All right. And the hips. Yeah, as you breathe in the hips, really, I'm just translating how I feel the energy. It has this inner spiraling action. Yeah, really out there. Yeah. It starts from the backs of the hips. Let me just get that one. When, when you feel now the, for example, um, um, let's let's progress the practice maybe in many many years. Now when 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 you feel the manifestation of the energy, actually the energy yeah, starting from there it wraps from the back and it spirals inside. Like everything from the peripheries, yeah, the peripheries, it rolls in and down. Yeah, so it's like it's wrapping wrapping from the back to the side and then to the center. Yeah, so really, that's, that's, that's how I feel the energy as I breathe through it. And you can feel the breath now from the space behind the ribs. It wraps around to the side and it goes back in. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, why? Yeah, because there's something really there, here, that draws everything from the outside. I think this is this is now um, this is actually the principle um, behind the um, philosophy of creation. Yeah, really creation. Because this is the seat of creation really. Yeah. Like everything is drawn, everything around it is drawn towards that point. And then really deep down the pet of the hips. Yeah. So um, in energetic terms so it doesn't become too esoteric. All right, the muscles there, together with the breath, will make room for an energy lock. There are not. We call the mula bandha. Yeah, the mula bandha now directs and then actually it attracts all things around it to gather the discipline. Right. And then, of course, this will uh, definitely, um, inevitably, um, require us to um, develop not just uh, physical strength and power of the hips, but of course, flexibility of this side of the hips. So, yes, when, when you're able to um, crack through the heaviness of the, the, the physicality of the hips, it will start to manifest as an active energy. Really, something that will make you light um, and supported and really strong. Yeah. So it has this uh, inward action towards the center line. Right. And that is actually the first stage of our development. But um, there is this inherent nature of, of that action, of that energy that we're able to, to manifest here. And it will work its way out, really technically, really in actual experience. Uh, you will feel that sensation yeah. rise up inherently. Like you, um, the nervous system t will tell you that you have to lift that energy up. Why? Because that energy is heavy. Yeah, it will really make. Um, of course, uh, it will make you strong. It will make you. Um, I would say uh, active, dynamic. However, uh, when you keep that energy trapped around here, it will result to heaviness because it's really an active one. And over time, you know, your 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 body will just tell you, your nervous system will just tell you, oh, I need to lift that energy up. I lift the, I need to lift the heaviness up. Uh, really, yeah, it's, 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 it feels like that. But if you if you keep that energy trapped around there it will cause pain and discomfort. Yeah, it will make, uh, it, it will manifest like um, spasm, low back, uh, discomfort. Um, but it's not pain, it's not actually injury. It's, it's something that gets trapped down there that inevitably you have to draw that heaviness up. Right. It's actually the Kundalini energy already working as well. Now, the next stage is actually the process of 
lifting the heaviness up. Right. And this is the second stage of uh, developing the, the spiritual um, aspect of our being. Right. And the body, really, yeah, the body um, will have to open up. Right. As the body opens up, yeah, the energy now will spiral or will move from that center, from the center line in, outside. Yeah, so it becomes like uh, an outward action. Yeah, so from um, from here, yeah, it will go up. So this one will open. Yeah, so it, it, it becomes like from, from an inner action, it will roll outward. Yeah, so the second part of this spiritual development, energetic development, is um, manifested by this part of the spine opening, which includes the heart. Yeah, really. So if you can relate that in regard to asanas, these are spine openers, yeah, body opener, trunk opener actions. And um, to be more specific, forms of spinal extensions. Yeah, and then, um, yes, this is this is really very very interesting because um, only when you open the spine, yeah, it's only when you open the spine that you will feel more spaces inside the body. Because this is really the, I would say, um, the most important aspect of our structural nature because it holds all the vital organs inside the heart, the lungs, and even the, the, the kidneys behind. And so when you're able to open this up, yeah, the breath will inevitably manifest in a much subtle manner, really subtle manner. So from something which is very uh, hugging, clinging, because you wanna, you wanna really, I, I mean, harness everything around it, and then throw it inside because that's you are you are creating your energy there, really. And so you have to really collect everything in. Yeah? So you have you are producing your own energy because you're gonna use that energy now to draw up and open. Alright. So the spirituality of the process is this. The beginning stages or the beginning stage, the first stage is actually very self. Very self. Yeah, it's about um, nourishing um, the physicality of the process. Really, it's very self. Yeah, um, it it includes physical power, survival, uh, strength, confidence. Yeah, that is um, the spiritual aspect of that. Because you're harnessing, you you wanted to gather all things you could gather for you to build that foundation. Right. But inevitably, that that the the elements that you will be collecting here would have to dissolve, would have to, I mean, um, exit the body. So your nervous system now will actually tell you when is the time to start opening up. So um, you you don't have to really rush the process. Really, really. Um, this is this is this is the the deeper understanding of of the practice become very meaningful. All right. uh, why? Um, because we wanted to harness our potential first yeah, and serve that particular stage of our development to its fullest potential. We don't want to be rushing things. Right? Because when you rush things, you know what? Because you, you don't want to be regretting because the moment you lift that awareness up, it will be a much different sensation. Technically, it will be a much different, uh, I would say, stage of your development. And then going back might not serve you as much anymore. Because really, that's the path we take. All right. And then outside our body, all right, when we meet someone or when we encounter um, another soul or another practitioner 
we're still going through that initial stage, we understand because we've been there. Uh, so there's really nothing wrong about celebrating this, the body, because really that's the development. Now, because you know that's the path and then you've been there, you are more understanding of the path that person next to you takes. And then you give all the support you can you know, to encourage that person to develop his or her full potential in that stage of his or her development. Because you know yeah, that there will be a time that his or her nervous system, his spirit or her spirit, will tell her to rise. Yes, really very true. And so it promotes better understanding promotes um, welfare actually yeah so we don't create the conflict yeah, we don't create the conflict um, yeah um, there's so much conflict that is uh, not necessary actually if um, all of us will just understand where the process starts from really and, and the process is transforming from something which is physical is something which is more energetic. Yeah, now going back. Now, when we breathe through this, yeah, it's more of like an outward flow. So physically, the body opens up and it's an outward flow. So in manifestation, yeah, it becomes like an outward loop. So the rest of the front opens and it rises up there. And it ends down the backs of the shoulders and then down the arms. Yeah. And so ever wonder why, for example, we rise up to Atadasana or a sitting position like this? We do that. Yes. Predominantly here. Yeah. But yeah, the initial action of the energy that my make is from here, it blows up. Yeah. So from the peripheries, gather in, and then from the center, close up. So it works like gears in the body, yeah, in and out. Right. Now, the third stage is actually here. Yes, from the collarbones up to the neck. Yeah, and the flow of energy, if you um, if you're able to um, crack through the, the deepest part of this physical, it's actually, it draws, it, it's like a hook actually, really, from here, because the, 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 the last stage is, or the, the previous stage is here, right? Yeah. From here now, it goes to the backs of the skull, the backs of the neck, yeah? And right up here, here, yeah, really it's here and it goes up. So the 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 action is actually like that. Yeah. It passes through from the throat, it passes through the back, it ends here and it exits out. That is the ever wonder why we do this. Yeah. But it's not you clipping it. It's different. Yeah. So it's as 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 the the second the second stage closes. You begin the last stage, which is towards the back and higher up. Really, that's the flow of the energy. Yeah. Um, so it becomes like now a backward hook. Actually, it it feels it, it feels like a gear. Uh, as well, like it, it, it goes like a loop from here, it goes there, and it ends all the way up. Yeah, and then in meditation, you can feel it pass through here and then out. All right, also the backs of the throat and then right up to the inside of the brain. And out. So, um, and in this stage of, of our spiritual development, is the meditative part. Is when the body will not move as much anymore. 
because it's done its part of the journey. Now it's mostly here. Yeah, control of the senses, control of the physical, even control of the heart. Really, control of the heart, control of the emotion. And then, um, because really you don't want this to be affected by this. Yeah, so how, how brutal it may sound, even the concept of love would be different when this part of your spiritual aspect begins to awaken uh, because you will realize now that um, even the most beautiful concept of love is actually not um, not directed toward to the person towards to your body and towards another person but it's actually directed towards everyone all right so we become more objective yeah, because when you reach that stage um, there's actually um, nothing. Yeah, you will realize now that as, as the consciousness becomes detached with the rest of what is um, perceived as true, the senses, it's actually very, very different. It's, it's not the same. It's actually a separate entity. It's really something um, uh, separate from the rest of, of what the mind, what the senses feel. Yeah, and it's actually a sensation exiting the body, exiting. And it's actually the energy now yeah, that you've been cultivating through all this long journey of your practice. It's the spirit. Yeah, so when I say we are all spiritual beings, I mean we develop the spirit from this to this to this and the flow manifests differently as well as you breathe through it yeah. so um, when we now breathe through our meditation uh, it's like a threefold breathing process the first is hugging inward from the outside to the inside of the body and the second one is heading outward outward to the peripheries and the third is rising upwards to the head and out and it goes back in out up and away and out inward outward upwards and back to the source breathing in breathing out inhaling Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. So, um, when you breathe through it, think about those three transformative stages the body the heart and the consciousness our own the person next to us and everyone our own energy, sharing that energy out, and feeling that pure oneness, yeah, because that person next to us holds the same pure unfolded form of energy, which is the spirit 
consciousness, you may want to call it. It's all one and the same. See you next time. Master.